Oh, good morning. This is Mr. Duncan, the Bond Public Library, with another do-it-yourself thing to do at home. What we're going to do today is something called the bean shooter. And what it shoots are beans. You could do pebbles, you could do marbles, but I suggest beans because they do a little less damage. I'll just sort of demonstrate here. I'm going to turn the camera around here, and you can see my target right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Get that back there, you go put your finger on the bean, you pull back and you let go and bang. Not bad. Now, what was wrong with that picture? Well, you have to consider the damage you might do by shooting it inside. You notice there were glass and pictures and equipment there. Okay, before I go, I'll talk a little bit about safety on this one. This is for outdoors. Number one, I don't want to see anybody shooting at each other. Um, know what your target is and have a designated target. Know what's behind your target when you shoot. And also clean up after yourself. But this is really easy because if these fall down and break, no problem. The wildlife will love them. Okay, and last but not least, don't shoot at wildlife. Don't shoot at your pets. Okay, that's not fair either. This is a lot of fun and um, it does not take much to make it. So let's go make one. What do we need? We need a paper tube, and I'm going to adjust down here so you can see this paper tube. You're going to need some kind of tape. Of course, you're going to need a balloon. If you got construction paper to decorate it with, that's great. You're going to need some scissors. And I've got some masking tape here, too. I find that works a little better on the balloon. All right. What I'm going to do to start out with is I got to adjust the balloon so it's going to be our part of our shooter here. And I'm going to snip off the top of the balloon just like this. Get rid of that. Make sure this goes in the trash. And what we're going to do is we are going to put this balloon over the top like this. There we go, just like a bathing cap. I'm using masking tape because it holds very better. I'm going to take a strip of masking tape and I'm going to wrap it around the edge like this to hold that in tight. And as you can see, now that's the main part of our shooter. Like that. Pull this back out here. Now you could do a lot better with this. You could take your paper and color on it. You could do whatever you want suggest decorating it. That'd be a lot of fun. I have done this activity before for our uh, camps and we took it outside and had a lot of fun seeing how far we could shoot the beans, um, how accurately we could shoot the beans. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little fancier. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to wrap the paper around it. I usually use a piece of scotch tape to hold it in place like this. A little bit of scotch tape on the edges. Now if you notice this is hanging out a little longer than the tube itself and that's not really a problem. You can leave it that way, you can trim it off. That's up to you. I'm going to tape this down so it doesn't stick up. As you can see I'm taping it down. Just like that. I kind of like it that way makes it even longer. Now you can experiment with different size tubes and see how accurate, how far they go. I'll give you a little hint, it does matter. I'll say that again, the length of the tube does matter. You can experiment with that. In goes my ammo. I'm going to turn it around again. And as you can see, I'm pretty close to the target right now, but... Ooh, that can do a bit of damage, can't it? Oh boy, now I have a mess to clean up. Well, you have fun with this, okay? This is the beam cannon. Have a good day.